you afraid of using sunscreen because it makes you break out or you just eat that sticky feeling or how much it increases your skin oiliness after use then you have come to the right place in this video i'm going to be sharing with you five sunscreens that are suitable for oily skin type that is not going to leave your white cast it's not going to irritate your skin and it's also not going to leave your skin with that oily shine that you hate so much but before we get into that let's first of all see how to pick the right sunscreen for your skin type there are so many factors you need to consider when picking the right spf for your skin type but the first thing you need to check is the level of SPF that it contains. Personally, I do not go below SPF 30. But if I am to pick a sunscreen, I do not pick anything less than SPF 50. So if you have oily skin type, please and please do not go below SPF 30 plus. If you are buying SPF 20, SPF 25, SPF 15, you are totally wasting your money anything below spf 30 you are not getting the needed protection because even spf 50 can only protect you for two to three hours so imagine going below that you're not going you're not getting the needed spf and that is only just protecting you for uvb so now to get the needed uva protection you also need to check the pa level so you should not go anything below pa3 plus so anything pa plus plus if it's just two plus you are not getting the needed protection from uva so you need something at least three plus so your spf has to be spf 30 plus pa plus 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 at least to ensure that you are getting both protection from the uva and the uvb so the next thing that you need to check when picking the right sunscreen for an oily skin type is to check the formulation the formulation is really really important when picking the right sunscreen because formulation will leave your skin dewy while some will leave your skin with a matte finish some will leave your skin feeling sticky and some will just not work so the right formulation of your sunscreen is really important and when checking the sunscreen formulation you also need to consider um the uv filters that it contains now there are different types of filters in we have physical filters we have chemical filters and we have the hybrid filters when you're speaking about when talking about the physical filters we have the likes of zinc oxide titanium dioxide when we are talking about chemical filters we have octinocytes we have octinocytes we have oxidants so those are chemical filters and when it comes to hybrid from the name hybrid it means the combination of both physical and chemical so it's good formulations that have both physical filters and chemical filters which to me is like the best choice but they are not really common but if you find those please grab them because physical filters have its own advantage so does chemical filters but one thing i have totally noticed with dark skin people of color people from the part of the world where i am is that physical sunscreen do not work on our skin why because it tends to leave either a greenish cast a purple or published cast or just a total white cast so it does not really blend into our skin like you should which is why we tend to lean towards chemical sunscreen but then if you are able to find um an hybrid sunscreen that's both the combination of the physical and the chemical sunscreen I feel like that would be the best choice for us provided it does not leave a white cast so keeping that in mind all of the sunscreens that i'm going to be recommending in this video will be chemical sunscreens because personally physical sunscreens do not work on my skin so i'm going to be recommending five sunscreens that i have personally tried as so i'm going to be recommending five sunscreens that you can use as an oily skin type that is going to work so the first thing i'm going to be talking about is this tokobo baowatri sun cream this has a serum like texture majorly it contains chemical filters it has hyaluronic acid that means this sunscreen not just the sunscreen also provides hydration for your skin and personally it does not leave your skin feeling dewy. it has a skin like texture and by skin like texture i mean it is not matte and it is not do it it's just like the glue that you want your skin to have when you don't have makeup on so it's like complete skin like texture no oiliness no shyness from the sunscreen and it's 50 ml by the way so if that sounds like what you'll be interested in then this i recommend and also this contains spf 50 plus a plus 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 you remember i said to get like when picking the right sunscreen for your skin type ensure that the pa is at least three plus so this personally contains four plus which is that means you are getting the needed 
UVA and UP protection from this sunscreen because it is SPF 50 plus and it is PA plus 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 plus. Let me show you guys the texture. Um, so this is the texture of this sunscreen. This is what it's going to look like on your skin. Can you see how it sinks in? No white cast. And it does not leave a dewy finish. And also, you can skip your moisturizer when using the sunscreen because it already contains a lot of hydrating and moisturizing ingredients. And also has a little bit of a cooling effect that when you apply the sunscreen, you just feel like if you have a brighter skin, it's going to give you this cooling sensation that I really like, which is like, which is why this sunscreen is one of my favorite sunscreen like of all time. So now moving on, the second one I'm going to be talking about is this sun cut, Kose sun cut uv perfect gel super waterproof so one thing i forgot to mention when picking the right sunscreen for your skin type if you have oily skin is to always go for sunscreen that are either gel like or are water based the first one i showed you has a serum like texture which is the tokubo uh, watery um uv sun cream uv sun cream but watery sun cream this one has a gel like texture this is a kosei sun cut uv perfect gel super waterproof now this one is waterproof that means whenever you are going swimming this sunscreen will not wash off whenever it is in contact is in contact with water like i said this also contains spf 50 plus all of the sunscreens i'm going to be recommending today are going to be spf 50 plus because personally i do not like to go beyond spf 50 plus if anything i like to go above 50 plus so it also contains pa4 PAs, 4 plus PAs. That means you are going to need a protection from UVA, UVB, and this is also waterproof. Now, let me show you the texture of this. So, now this is what the texture is like it sinks into your skin so beautifully. You guys, look at the sunscreen. You see that there is no traces of white cast on this sunscreen. It's just going to sink into your skin. And you know why I would always pick this sunscreen? It's because this sunscreen does not only work well for oily skin type, it is also it also comes in a big container this is 100 gram you guys 100 gram sunscreen like this <laughs> so find 100 gram sunscreen currently it has to be by connection because most sunscreens are 50 ml and i'm totally tired of it so whenever i see a sunscreen that is at least 100 gram like i'm already i'm excited especially if it now works so this one is made in japan the first one i recommended was made in korea so we are on number two right so moving on, the third one I'm going to be recommending is this Bowre UV Aqua Rich. This also contains SPF 50 plus, PA plus plus plus, and it has a watery texture. So this one I was a bit conflicted at first when getting this one because it has like a um it has a watery, a very burning watery texture. The mixture is like a mist mark. I'm already done, I would have showed you, but so you have to be careful with this one. This one is like especially best if you have oily skin type. <laughs> Why? Because this is really water based and it sinks into your skin immediately. No traces of white cast and it is so rich in. It does not peel on application. It sinks into your skin. It contains hydrating products that makes it easy for you to skip your moisturizer when using. And it also protects your skin from UVA and UVB. The chemical filters in the filters in these are also chemicals. So now moving on, the fourth one I'm going to be recommending is this OG that is quite popular everywhere, which is the Skin Aqua sunscreen. If you don't know Skin Aqua, you must be living under a rock. It has a gel-like texture. It has SPF 50 plus, PA plus 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 as well, four plus. It is protecting you from both UVA and UVB. It leaves a matte finish. Yeah, this is not a, it does not leave like it. it has a thick gel like texture and it is 110 gram. It is so big and it is affordable. It has chemical filters as well and it also leaves your skin with a matte finish. And by matte finish, I mean it's going to make your skin feel like there's nothing on it's going to be completely dry. You're not going to remember that you're wearing sunscreen because your skin is just going to look the same. So now this is especially good for oily skin types because when you have oily skin, you're trying to minimize the shininess, the oily shine that comes to, with having oily skin it leaves your skin with a matte finish that is going to make your skin just feel like a dry no oil shininess no oiliness as you can see how my face is looking is because i'm wearing a sunscreen that leaves a dewy finish if you have a sunscreen that leaves a matte finish your skin is going to be dry 
like if that is your vibe then go for skin aqua so now moving on the fifth one i'm going to be talking about is this skin 1004 madagascar centella i hello sika water fit sunscreen now i like this sunscreen because it is not just a sunscreen it also helps with tackling fine lines wrinkles because it contains centella asiatica and centella asiatica has lots of benefits this is also a spf 50 plus pa plus 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 i mean it contains four plus it protects your skin from both uv rays that's the uva and the uvb the only thing the only downside to this is because it, it is 50 ml and let me show you guys the texture so it has a gel like texture so, it has a serum like texture actually as you guys can see and this is it on my skin also blends in leave zero white cast zero white cast but compared to others also if you are afraid of your sunscreen having fragrance none of the sunscreen i currently recommend are fragrance all of them are fragrance free all of them are also spf 50 plus pa plus 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 which are, which are the major key features you need to watch out for when picking the right sunscreen for your skin type if you like this video don't forget to give this video a huge thumbs up please 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 subscribe to this channel and let me know if you have any questions in the comment section